In today's video, I'm going to show you how I create my 3D characters for the current uh, movie that I am working on. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now today I'm going to show you how I am I'm creating my characters for my 3D animated feature film that I'm working on. And um, if you really want to support this film... Um, Unfortunately, it is not cheap. It is extremely expensive to make this film. Um, there's a lot of things I need, characters and props and clothing and scenes and a lot of things that I need to purchase. And you'll actually see in today's video how I do it, um, but then also voiceover actors. So um, if you want to support this film financially, um, I do have a Patreon account. Um, the link will appear on the screen and there will also be a link in the description box below. Um, so with all the Patreons you get special access. Um, you'll see behind the scenes how I make the movie. Um, have interviews with um, some of the um, voiceover actors. Um, so you'll actually have a front row seat on how I make this film, hopefully to inspire you to also go out and make your own films and see how easy it actually is. Um, so if you are interested, all the funds from the Patreons will go towards funding this film. Like I say, it is actually going to be quite expensive. <laughs> um, so I hope those funds will really help me get um, that film project off the ground. So... Um, Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to create one of the characters from my um, from that film. So the first thing is I don't know how to model or sculpt. So that's the first problem. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this video also don't know how to do any 3D sculpting or modeling. And um, that is great because this video will then really help you. So this is my approach. So what I do is I get all my characters and my scenes and props and a lot of my clothing as well from Dare Studio. So if I go to Dare Studio, the first thing you need to do is go and create an um, account for yourself. Um, so basically what I do is um, I go to Dare Studio, then I will go to Shop. Um, then Characters, you'll see there's clothing, there's a lot of different um, topics, so you can now go humans, creatures, animals. Um, so what I'll then do is I'll go Genre, and I will then select um, Tune. So because this is basically, I want to create like a Pixar style movie, and so then you'll have... Um, all the tune type of characters here and then I will purchase um, characters. Now the great thing is you like for instance this is $25 um, for these characters this is 25 for these kids characters but you'll see what I do is I will buy a base character and then I will build my character on top of that so I can use that base character it's one purchase so if I have 20 characters in my movie I don't have to buy 20 um, characters of $25. Um, there's no need for me to do that. I buy this um, like a base character and then I build on top of that. Okay, so then I go through this list and see um, what character will suit my the character I want to create um, best and then I will purchase that and then once I've purchased that then when you uh, have a Daz Studio account, you'll probably have to download Daz Central. And this is where all the characters, scenes, props, clothing, everything you've purchased in the past will appear here. So this Atlas for Genesis 8, Ma um, Genesis 8 Mail, this character, I want to use this as my base character. Okay, because the character I'm creating is like a... Your typical is a sports coach, so I want him to be quite big and muscular, um, like a superhero type of build, exactly like this character here. So um, 
I've purchased this character, so now I can go click on open and it will open up Daz Studio and it will open up that character for me. So if I go to Daz, there is my character and that is my base character. Okay. Um, so, and then the other thing that I will also do is I will go here and I will normally buy clothing from Daz Studio as well. Except when it is dresses. If it is a dress, I would preferably go look at it um, at um, on the Reillusion Marketplace. Um, because if you buy a dress there, the physics is already applied to it. So you don't have to do that as well. Uh, but normal clothing, I would always go and um, purchase that from Daz as well. Shoes, all of those things. Okay, so... I've got my character, um, then I can just go to content library and I can go through my different types of clothing. Now obviously this is a G8 character, so I'll have to make sure that if I want to um, apply clothing, I'll have to go to Genesis 8 mail, and now I can look at clothing, basic wear. So I can add this pants on top of my character, like so. And maybe this shirt as well. And you'll, um, let, me wait, let me just undo. I have to select the character. So let's just delete the boxes again. Select the character and then drag on top. There you go. Okay, so now I've got my shirt on and select my character again and drag over the boxes. And there you go. And let's just drag that above that. Now you can see there is some issues, but that I can fix later on inside cartoon character. Um, I can then also just look for socks and shoes. So I'll dress my character here. And once I'm happy with my character, um, you'll see I'm not going to add hair now. Um, but once I'm happy, I can go and I can um, save or export. I'll click on export and I'll export this as an FBX file. And then once I'm done with that, I can now go to, um, to uh, Character Creator because I'm going to animate through iClone. That is my 3D animation software. And then what I do is this button here. Um, transformer. If I click there, you'll see CC3 or CC3 Plus. You select CC3 Plus and then that FBX file, you select that and you just go through the process and it will import that character into your um, into cartoon, uh, character creator. So I've already done that just to save some time and there is my character. Um, I didn't import the pants, I actually wanted to use a pants from um, what I already have here. So, and then I can add shoes, socks, etc. Um, that I've also done inside Character Creator. I'll show you at the end of the video the final result. Um, but what I also want to show you is when it comes to hair, um, I don't normally buy hair from... Um, from Daz. Okay, so let's for example um, go to categories, um, humans, um, let's go just back to shop and hair. Okay, so if you click there, you'll get a lot of different hair types. Now, the reason why I don't buy from Daz. Except in certain, um, for example, if the head is a type that it's not going to flow, you know, you don't need physics for it. For example, this gentleman's hair, uh, maybe this guy's hair. Um, if it's a hairstyle like maybe this one that doesn't need any physics, um, then I will purchase it here. But otherwise, I will normally go to Reillusion um, and I will purchase here. Now there's let me, if you scroll down to the bottom, you've got content store and marketplace. Okay, so if we go to content store, you will see this here. But for example, 
$60, it is actually quite expensive for some of these $85, um, $69. So what I normally do is it actually saves some money as I go to, I click on Marketplace. So if I go to Marketplace, then I can just go to the top, Character Creator, here, and then it will bring me here. And then what I normally like... Um, let me just um, alt product. Okay, so it doesn't have it here, but um, I normally like um, these type of realistic looking hair. Um, you'll see there are some hair that just doesn't look that realistic or nice. Um, so I like the realistic looking hair. Um, so then I just go and I purchase the hair that I want. For example, a while back I've purchased this hair for one of my characters and it is 600. So this works out about six dollars um, for that hairstyle which, which I've purchased in the past. So then I just go and look for hair that I want to use. For example, I think this hairstyle is what I'm going to use right now. And so if I go to Character Creator, um, we can go to Content, Hair, and there is that hairstyle that I've just shown you. And then I would drag it on top of my character. The reason I prefer this hair, it, it looks a, lit, a little bit more realistic. It, and it also have um, um, your physics already apply to it so if you add some wind there will be movement if your character move there will be movement as well and you can also make adjustments to that here so if I select I can make more adjustments um, to my hair I can change the color if I want so if we zoom in Okay, so you can see there is a little bit of a problem there. So I can just again select conform, make it a little bit bigger until I fix, fix that issue. I can also um, edit mesh so I can make my adjustments and once I'm happy with my character let's just there you go so once I'm happy with my character the hair is done um, I can also adjust the skin so if I go to my character and there select avatar I can apply um, facial hair, chest hair. There's so many things you can add through um, got, uh, Character Creator to really customize the character exactly how you want it to be. So um, you can change the eye color. And basically that is what I do to create my characters for my animation um, movie. So... My process is I go to Daz, I buy a character, um, like a base character that I can use over and over, and then I'll purchase um, clothing and also hair, depending on the, the Daz Studio website or on Reillusion, preferably on the marketplace because it is a little bit cheaper because um, on the content store it normally comes in a collection, so you'll have to buy five pieces of hair but I only want the one so in the marketplace you can go and purchase just the one so I will go purchase my clothing and then I can just go and um, adjust my character and that is how I basically create my characters and then obviously if you want you can still um, customize this character even further um, inside character Creator. So if I select there, I can make him shorter. I can 
um, make adjustments and customize this character even further. And then once I'm done, um, I will then have the final product. Let me quickly show you what the final product will look like. So here are two characters that I've already created um, for my movie. And you can see this is the character we just created. This is another character that I've created the exact same way. And the great thing about this female character is that um, this is a base character which I've just added some clothing and hair and glasses but it is the base character I can use for other characters as well so if I apply different hairstyles different clothing it will look like a completely different character and then I can just make further adjustments inside um, character creator to make my character a bit more unique change the eye color etc but this is basically the character we just created and as you can see he looks like a coach and maybe I can just add a cap for him um, a whistle I can just go crazy um, and you can see the hair really looks nice so guys that is how I create my um, characters for my movie I think I've got like over 20 characters that I need to create but this is the process that I follow and remember if you want to support that film um, you'll also there's a lot of perks so go to my patreon click on the link in the description below check it out there's a lot of perks um, so make sure it will be highly appreciated if you can support this film by just becoming a patreon and um, yeah, it will really, if you love animation and if you want to create your own feature film by yourself one day, um, I think becoming a patron will really help you because you will um, see exactly how I make this film. Not through a massive animation studio, but by myself. So guys, from me, Eon, I will see you guys next week with another video. God bless and happy animating.